as you can see here, this, this pool, which is 60 years old and probably hasn't been resurfaced in a couple of decades, has some pretty good chunks of plaster missing out of it. Uh, ideally, we would drain it and have it resurfaced, but we just bought this house. I don't have enough money to drain it, resurface it, and fill it back with 17,000 gallons of water. So um, as a stopgap to give us maybe a couple years, uh, I'm gonna patch these. We'll be using this uh, Leslie's Pools patch it. It's good to use underwater. I've tried it in a couple areas so far and I had pretty good results. Learn a few lessons. I'll share them with you. Um, one, if you're gonna be working on the bottom, you need weight to hold you down because as you're working, you're pushing on the bottom and you'll shove yourself away from your work area. So I'm wearing about 15 pounds of lead. Uh, you can stuff your pockets with bricks. I don't, I don't know what else you might use. Um, need a spreader. And uh, the mixture on this is four and a half parts powder to one part water. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be patching this spot right here. Uh, you wanna go ahead and get it all, all mixed up, wear gloves, smoosh it around in your hands. You'll feel it get a little bit warm, not hot enough to burn you or anything, just you can tell it's warming up a little bit. When it becomes sort of a Play-Doh consistency, you wanna go ahead and get it in the water before it starts stiffening up too much so you have plenty of time to work it. The water will get crazy cloudy you need to be prepared for that. You know, get down there. When you, once you crunch it down into the hole, the puffs up in clouds, you can't see it. So you really have to work it by feel. Uh, and once in a while, maybe fan it to try to get some clear, clear water in the area so you can see what you're doing again. Uh, let's get on with it. Okay, so how well did it go? Um, for one thing, these are spots that are way too big to be using this product. I know that, but it's what I found available. I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, did it work? Yes. Um, in one spot, I, I almost can't even tell there was any problem there. Um, but the water got so cloudy that I just could not see what I was doing uh, with the second area where I was working. And I actually ended up, see here, I actually lost material. I couldn't find it, it was just gone. Um, the water we didn't just cloud up in that one area. The entire pool got so cloudy uh, that it took two days for it to clear. Uh, and I ended up having to vacuum powder off the bottom of the pool. Um, so I have mixed feelings about it. So does it work? Yes. Uh, it hardens into basically a plaster, almost a concrete-like material. Uh, it seems pretty sturdy. Uh, feels like it bonds pretty well. I'm not unhappy with the way it works. However, Using it underwater, you do lose a really high percentage of it to just turning into a cloud. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing areas as large as I did. I think with small cracks, I think you're golden. This stuff is great. It doesn't go very far. Um, one three pound bucket will patch about this much area uh, based on my limited experience. Uh, so if you have a lot of patching to do, I don't know, buy a lot of it or find something else. I don't know. I'm not disappointed in it. I'm not really in love with it either. <laughs>